An emotional day today for victims' families as a gunman is found guilty of shooting and killing two healthcare workers. It took a jury just about an hour just to determine Nestor Hernandez's fate. Sentenced to life now without parole. Last year, we told you he opened fire inside of a Dallas hospital maternity ward. And our Robbie Owens has been following this case for us all week. And, and you're live now from the Frank Crowley Courthouse, uh, Robbie, with some really compelling reaction tonight. Nicole, this jury didn't just find Mr. Hernandez guilty of murder. They found him guilty of capital murder. That is what prosecutors wanted. That's what this family wanted as well. And after days of emotional and difficult testimony, it, it felt as even though the hallways here had absorbed that tension. And with that guilty verdict, there was a palpable exhale, an exhale of relief for the family and of grief and anger as well. My perception of the world is completely shattered. I'm always on edge, scared something's going to happen to me. I miss the girl I was before. I was just a normal teenage girl who wasn't worried about someone coming up to a place where I should be completely safe taking my life. Nurse Katie Flowers' granddaughter, a niece, and three daughters all took the stand following that guilty verdict for what's called victim impact statements. Loved ones are given the opportunity to address the now convicted killer directly, unleashing a torrent of anger and emotion on the man who will now spend the rest of his life in prison. But their words make clear that Nestor Hernandez's actions that day have given them all life sentences as well of grieving and missing a woman they called an angel on earth. I didn't get to introduce her to the wonderful man that treats me exactly how she always hoped someone would, someone who's an actual man. I didn't get to take her on the trips I planned and make more everlasting memories with my mom. She doesn't get to see me build a life for myself and she won't get to walk me down, down the aisle at my wedding. I've never felt so alone on this earth than the day that you murdered her and every day since. A part of me died with her that day. After you wrecked havoc that day and stole two beautiful so souls who undoubtedly were better human beings and more deserving of life than you will ever be. Hernandez has been jailed since the shootings last year, and now he will immediately be transferred to the Texas Department of Corrections, where he will spend every day of the rest of his life behind bars. Live at the Frank Crowley Courthouse in Dallas, Robbie Owens, CBS News, Texas.